to Take It From The Iron Woman. My name is Susanne Müller, your host and the Iron Woman. This podcast is about empowering yourself and others to make real changes in the world. You will hear from everyday, smart, sophisticated, hip people like you and me. Not everybody has to be an Iron Woman to impress the world. Together, we will learn from the sports and business leaders how you can become a more successful person as an entrepreneur or a leader. It's one step at a time, one day at a time. Take your steps now. Take your big steps now. Join me on this journey to success. Take it from the Iron Woman. Three years in the life of a podcaster. Time is flying when you're having fun. I'm a blogger, I'm an author, I'm a podcaster, what else? Who knew that I would be continuing my podcast journey like I have for the past three years? It's a fact, three years later and 327 episodes with people from around the world. Again, time is flying when having fun. I always knew that I wanted to interview interesting people and when the podcasting fellowship class came about, I jumped right on it immediately without too much thinking. I didn't know what to expect. Early on while going through the podcasting fellowship class, I knew that I would not be the tech person who would understand all the details, editing, all the new gadgets, maybe not so much for me. Does it matter? Yes, probably, though in my opinion, the content and the quality of the conversation is much more important. And I always was convinced that I would start in January 2020, which to me was supposed to be the perfect vision, the perfect year. And then what? We all know that 2020 was probably not the perfect year. It had some surprises for all of us. And let's look how it all started back in 2019. Why did I start and what kept me going? We can apply that to any aspect of life. Initially, I was used to take online classes always by myself. I took the time. I could do it at my own time, at my own leisure. I was fine. I was committed and I finished what I started. I used my marathon running mentality. You start something and you finish even if it's hard. Then I realized that my fellow podcasters in training would meet, provide each other feedback and exchange ideas regularly. So I joined them instead of watching the recorded videos. This was a huge revelation and turning point in my learning journey. Finally, I came to understand that learning together was fantastic, to say the least. Didn't I know that when you support each other, like the marathon running training, the training actually gets easier? Hello? The marathon running training can always be transferred to other trainings as long as learning, learning with other podcasters who start with me. What other additional cool events happened in 2019? Elliot Kipchoki, the Kenyan runner, finished the marathon distance in a time of an hour and 59 minutes and 40 seconds, under two hours. I was glued to the TV to watch that event happening in Austria. And the Qantas flight from New York City to Sydney, Australia, took 19 hours and 42 minutes. Whew, a long flight. 2020, my goal was reached with 100 podcasts in one year. Very proud of this achievement. I think because of the pandemic and everybody or most of everybody working from home, it got a little easier to invite and record the stories of my guests. I also have used the podcast for my networking and connecting and nurturing my network. Listen to this, nurturing my network. So the podcast can be used to nurture the network. The hundredth episode was with the Glitter Glam Girls. At that time, 10-year-old girls 
who started their card online business in 2020 during the pandemic. They're still going strong. And what additional e cool events are happening in 2020? Challenges are here with lockdowns everywhere and working from home, a new situation that took forever. But 007, Sir Sean Connery, dies at the age of 90. 2021 and the journey continues with 236 episodes at the two-year mark. Again, for the special episode for 200, I invited Ian, a young, energetic man with great aspirations. The podcast can be used as an uplifting platform for others. We have reached the goal to have people from all continents and in various languages like English mostly, Swiss German, German Spanish, probably a French one is in the making. So stay tuned for that. Sharpen your language skills now. An additional cool events in 2021. My book, Lipstick Leadership, has been published. A new venture in uncertain times. Leadership never stops. There is no finish line. And you know that the lipstick industry will be a $10 billion industry by 2025. So just around the corner. Another highlight was the 300th episode with Destiny. She has supported me with her insights for social media, namely the Take It From The Iron Woman Instagram handle. If you haven't seen it, if you don't follow us, go and check now. Take It From The Iron Woman. The podcast is here to support each other and lift others up. And what's next? I have finished a three year mark with 327 episodes and more is to come. I want to leave a legacy. I want to invite cool people. Unfortunately, two of my guests have passed on, but we still have their voices with us. We keep their voices alive. We keep their messages alive. I'm happy to be on this podcasting journey and want to continue to inspire others, including you. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being with me on this path and many more episodes will come. Thank you so much. Take it from the Iron Woman. We have episodes every Monday with cool people, relevant stories, inspiring stories. Check in. We have more than 327 episodes. Thank you so much for your support. And if you need a good read, Lipstick Leadership is available, but also Take It From The Iron Woman, Global Business Coaching with Sports Parallels can be downloaded or bought in your local bookstore. Shop local, support small businesses. Thank you for your support. Until next time and bye-bye.